Shalom. Today we're continuing our verbs workshop. Um, I hope that you are comfortable now with all the uh, suffixes which create the, imp the perfect tense, which we would consider to be the past completed action tense. Today we're going to look at the imperfect tense. And in our Binyan chart, there's just a few little things that are highlighted that can help give us a clue when we're looking at the imperfect verbs about the binyan. In the hefil, you will usually see that extra yud, and in the hitpa'el, you will see the tav. So, the um, basically, the imperfect is formed by prefixes. The prefix for uh, I will do something is aleph. The prefix for you will do something is tav. That's for the masculine singular. The feminine singular has a tav prefix and also a yud suffix. He will do something is indicated by a yud prefix, and we've talked about this in the uh, jots and tittles uh, presentation. For she will do something, it is exactly the same as you, masculine singer, will do something. I don't really uh, know why that is. Um, it might be one of my first questions when I get there. Just kidding. But uh, they are exactly the same. The prefix for we will do something is nun. The uh, you will do something plural has the ta prefix and the u at the end, which makes it plural. There's a special form, uh, feminine form, which has, uh, it's the same for second and third person, you and they, plural, is exactly the same form. It has a tav prefix and a nunhe suffix. Uh, they will do something masculine, again, is the third person yud prefix and the plural u suffix. So we're going to look at some examples of this using the verb shamar. We see uh, this esh more, uh, for I will guard forever, the olam esh more lo, forever I will guard him, in Psalm 89. In uh, Genesis 26, 5, we have the uh, bav, conversive, and then the prefix yud yish more, he will guard, talking about Abraham. He will get guard the uh, mishmar of God, the mitzvot of God, the chukot of God, and the tarot of God. The yishmar is for Abraham, will guard those things. The yud prefix, he will do it. In Deuteronomy 6.25, we see nishmar. This is the nun prefix, in other words, we will do it. Uh, Psalm 59, 1, here's Yishmaru, the Yud prefix for the third person, and the U suffix for the plural. They will, uh, they, they are uh, guarding the house in order to uh, kill. In Judges 13, 13, we see a form Tishamer. So we've already seen that the Pa'al form of that verb, it would be Tishmor. So we know we're not looking at a Pa'al form here. The extra uh, syllable uh, is an indication. And this is a Nifal form. The, um, the wife, Isha, she will be guarded. In Job 14.7, here's a similar form, ye karet, karat means to cut, but he is not cutting something, the thing is being cut. It's a passive form. Remember the nifal is a passive form. In Numbers 12.6, we see the root deber we've already talked about deber is a a pl form for the first person adaber i will speak it's not adbor as if it were a pa'al we see some different vowels here that tells us that it's a pl form but the aleph 
prefix for I will do something is the same. All these prefixes and suffixes will be the same regardless of the binyan. In Job 18, here it is for we will speak. We have the, the prefix we would expect, nidaber. A little bit different vowel construction, but the same prefix, we will do something. We will speak. In Isaiah 42.9 um, and then uh, Isaiah 42.2, we have a he feel. Remember I said the little yud infix there will tell you that it's a he feel. We're looking at the verb root shama, shen mem ayin. You know that this means to hear in the he feel form, to cause to hear or to announce. Ashmiya. I will announce it to them. I will cause them to hear it. Yashmia with the yud prefix, he will announce it, or in this case, he will not announce it. Um, below Yashmia, so, but the yud prefix is the same. The yud infix tells us that binyan is he feel, it's causative. He will announce, he will cause it to be heard. Here we have the verb um, at the hit pa'el of the verb halach. We have talked about this um, meaning to walk with, uh, to walk usually, to walk with God. Psalm 43, 2. We see the olive prefix, I will do something. The tav, which is the indication, the clue that tells you that it's hit pa'el et halech. I will well, I will walk. In other words, why am I walking around with my head hanging down? In Genesis 5:22, here we're talking about Hanoch, Enoch, and he walked with God. Yitalech. We see the yud prefix for he will do something. The tav telling us that it's hit pa'el, and then the root um, holech, he lamid. So those are some examples of the prefixes that are um, seen in, uh, in the verbs that tell us that we're looking at an imperfect form, a kind of a future form. So uh, I suggest that you take some time now and as you're studying to search those things out, to look them up, to become familiar with uh, which prefixes are for which person and get that settled in your mind and next time we'll go on to the participle tense in the meantime tasimita inayim al hashamayim and that is an imperfect tasim tav you will seem put keep your eye on the sky your redemption draweth nigh shalom mm -hmm.